Are you wanting to learn how to paintless dent repair? Well, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to repair the right side of the fender without painting. What's up? And welcome back to another paintless auto body dent repair. I'm Clark Ken, the man of steel. Today, I'm doing the right side repair on a Honda Accord. Arthur Body Repair wanted to replace the fender. The insurance company wanted to total out the vehicle. However, the Man of Steel wants to save the vehicle. The entire fender is affected. Taking a measurement of the dent, two feet high, four feet wide. My first step, I need to remove the bumper and the headlight. I need to fix the fender nose first. Secondly, I will need to line the fender up with the door. Then I will need to remove the door to get my best access behind the fender. Before I begin the repair, I want to show you the list of tools in my cart I will be using. In the top left, I have my PDR glue tabs for pulling the dents, alcohol spray for cleaning, PDR edge tool, and my mini lifter for lifting the tabs. Three knockdowns for the crowns, PDR rods, a 24 inch double bend, and a simple large screwdriver for pushing out the dents, and a hot glue gun. We have a pipe and a slide hammer for body repair work, and a buffer for polishing. Lastly, my PDR light for seeing the entire damage on the fender. Let's begin this how-to tutorial. I am filling out the damage by applying pressure with my hands to the bracket and the dented area. I will need to use my auto body slide hammer on the bracket. Giving the slide hammer several strong pulls, the bracket wasn't moving. I had to find a new location to place my hook. After several attempts and 15 minutes later, we got it pretty close. So we need to hit the back side of the bracket so we used a pipe as a long knockdown to take out the buckle in the bracket. After several hits, I will need to check our progress, putting the bumper and headlamp back in place to see if everything lines up. I reach for my paintless dent repair tool. It's a 24 inch double bend soft tip. I had to put the wheel back on so I can leverage off the tire. I am placing the tool by the edge by the light. Next I am placing the knockdown on the crown and hitting it gently with the hammer. Repeating the process, going back to the PDR rod. You can see I am getting the dent to move back to its original shape. Moving on, next I'm spraying alcohol on the other side of the fender. Okay my YouTube friends, so now we are ready for the next step. I'm going to use these glue tabs to pull the edge of the fender out. These eye bolts work out great. I'll run my fingers through the eye bolts and begin pulling the fender out. So let's take a look. Now heating the panel and squeezing glue on evenly on the tab and placing them on the fender. Placing my finger in the eye bolts of the tab, giving them a strong pull. The fender jam is giving me lots of resistance. Hooking up my auto body slide hammer in the eye bolts, giving the slide a few hits. My body tech is helping stabilizing the fender by pushing on the glue tabs. My goal is to get the body line of the fender to line up with the body line of the door. This is how I save big fender dents. I'm not done yet. It's going to get even more difficult with the remaining crease and the dents along the edge. Now removing the tabs with heat and alcohol. Here's the damage with the PDR light. Now it's time for step two with a medium sized glue tab. Spreading the glue evenly and placing the tabs on the fender with a soft push. 
using my slide hammer and giving each tab a few hits. While I'm doing that, my body tech is stabilizing the fender once again. Here is the after of step two glue pool. Using alcohol to remove the tabs. Step 3. Decreasing the size of the PDR glue tabs. I really like how these crease tabs pull. Hooking up my PDR mini lifter to the tabs and twisting the legs across the two edges. Giving the handle a strong squeeze. Using my knockdown for the high areas. The Man of Steel is getting great movement from the tabs and the mini lifter. Repeating the process with my knockdowns and my mini lifter, working the entire fender edge. Repeating the process with my knockdowns. Using my impact drill, now it's time to remove the fender lining, the wheel, and the door. Here is another view of the fender. We are making progress. Using the head of the hammer and hooking it to the back side of the fender jam, we are pulling the jam toward the door opening. I am running my PDR edge tool behind the panel. I am sliding in my mini lifter to hook it in place to the edge tool. This is how I remove dents from behind the door jam area. Hope you're enjoying this valuable dent content. Running this tool combo up and down the back side and the front side, squeezing the handle. This is my secret method for getting dents out from behind the jam of the fender. Alrighty guys, so I bulked out the majority of this dent with glue. The fender jam on the back side here is in the way, so I'm having a difficult time getting into the deeper section of the dent. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a really thin tool and run behind the jam and begin tooling it out. Placing the screwdriver tip in between the open gap, turning the handle, leveraging the tool off the jam surface. Using my knockdowns to remove the micro highs, and I'm continually repeating the method. The corner tip of the screwdriver is placed on the dent, then I push by continually twisting the handle. The tip is really sharp. You need to be careful on your pressure pushes. Every push is precise, being extra patient, not rushing it. This simple screwdriver I am using as a paintless dent repair rod. All right, I'm finishing up on the job. It's time to button things up. I'm gonna put the tire and the door back on. Hooking the door to the door hinges, grabbing the wheel, lining up the lug bolts, and using the impact drill to tighten up the lug nuts. Lowering the vehicle to the ground, Squeezing the compound onto the polishing pad. Moving the polisher side to side and up and down. Quick cloth wipe down. for watching my video. Would you like to see more videos on paintless auto body dent repair? Like, comment, and subscribe. And most importantly, hit that notification button. And I will see you when I drop my next video. You guys continue forging your future. 
I'm signing off. <laughs>